When I first went to create this work, I looked at the land. In any choreographic venture I do, I come home. My name is Ian R. T. Collis. I'm the current artistic director of Untitled Collective, which is an intercultural, interdisciplinary, and international arts entity based predominantly out of New York City and Australia. We have artists based in Israel, Canada, Australia, France, and the UK. Both Katie Moorhead and I are about to leave for my traditional country in the Blue Mountains, where I grew up. The first development of a work that I've created called Ritual Point One. We actually danced together for somebody else, and then Ian and I um, decided to continue working together. And um, so Ian and I have now been roughly three years uh, working together. I've lived in seven countries around the world. I've been very fortunate too, and I've lived all over Australia. And I always want to come home. That, to me, is a sense of ritual. That I have to come home, I have to pay my respect to my elders and to the land in which my people have lived for millennia and to make the dream immobile with my practice. When we were talking about the developments of ritual, I looked at how we could create a new ritual within the context of modernity. What can we do to gather non-Indigenous and Indigenous people together in an environment that one respects traditional protocol and two respects my philosophies of intercultural exchange? To be uh, knowledgeable in continuing to study with Ian um, about his Aboriginal heritage um, and the influences he brings and that is the soul of, of the dance um, <clears throat> and really entire influence in the dancing. In dance we are constantly telling stories of others or even ourselves um, but this story that um, or stories that Ian shares is very secret. My grandmother grew up in a place called the Gully, Blue Mountains, um, which is just beside me. Gully is a very sacred place and has strong links to my blood memory. And the water that flows through that is the veins of ancestral spirits. But this team was part of the ceremony when the gully was given back to my people, the Darik people, um, when my grandmother did water ceremony. Water has always been a fundamental tool of the Blue Mountains, but particularly within Gungundra culture. The origin of Katoomba has, as we are aware, many numerous notions of what Katoomba means. In my blood memory, my great-great-great-grandfather, Billy Lynch, said that the Blue Mountains is a place of water and, um, and that's the origin of the word Katoomba or Kudumba. That was a fundamental underpinning of why we wanted to bring in together the notions of ancestral spirits, the notions of present, of me travelling from water to country. Um, and water is a powerful tool. I mean, water connects us, water unifies us, and no matter what life form you are, it produces life. My name is Annie Val Lewis. I'm the Derek Elder. On behalf of my people, both past and present, I welcome you to the Derek Elder. Gundagara Man has an international reputation in contemporary dance and choreography, has travelled through hurricane and floods from his base in New York, with rehearsal director Katie Moorhead to perform their dance title Ritual. The dance brings together man's business and women's business, with an original score by the collective's New York City-based composer, Robbie Dwayne. It is an honour and a privilege to be able to present the inaugural performance at the Blue Mountains Cultural Centre.
Traditions and I'm honoring the traditions of the future. Yeah. 